welcome back to our channel so here in this video we are going to discuss the business analytics unit number one complete explanation okay so this pdf is made by me which is available in our telegram group for free of cost okay and all the telegram group links and all other links i have given in the description box clear the first important question is about the explain the character categories of business analytical methods and models this is the first important question from the first unit ma first you need to understand what is mean by business analytical methods and what is mean by business analytics okay so business analytics is the scientific process significant process of transforming the data into insights to support better business decision making why because when you understand your business then only you can table able to take the proper decisions yes or no so it is a systematic way it is a scientific process okay which helps you to understand your business to make the proper decisions organization today generates huge volume of data means whatever the data we are having in the organization either it might be production sales anything it will have the large volume of data whatever the large volume of data which is available in the business it will be able to convert that large volume of that method of information into understandable convertible into understandable information okay whatever the business analytical models it is classified based on the nature of the question and answers and these methods are implemented only in the analytical models why it is implemented to improve your planning to improve your content control and to improve your performance in the organization this is the introduction part must and should you need to learn ma very much introduction this is compulsory you need to write it in the examination then what are the categories of different business analytical model and models okay so first one is about the descriptive analytics descriptive analysis is mainly focused on the historical data means to understand your present situation in the organization mostly it will see your past data to understand your present trend or to understand your patterns so whatever the reports whatever the charts whatever the dashboards we are having in that last historical data it will be able to analyze that so examples are sales report profit analysis monthly per performance dashboards etc like actually what happened how well the business has performed in that time like this it will be able to analyze your descriptive okay next one diagnostic analysis diagnostic is nothing about why that problem is coming what is the particular problem to anal to getting that what is the reason to get that problem it will be able to analyze the relationship between the variables variables is nothing about what type of things are happened actually okay like correlation variable analysis root cause it will able to find out the root cause example why did this happen okay why did it happen in the business that is called diagnostic analytics okay next one predictive analysis like based on the historical data based on the statistical models based on the regression analysis it will be predicted like it will be happening this time you can score a plus grade this time you can score o grade o grade like that so this is likely to happen in future according to the data we are taking the decisions mostly it will happen that type of things are called predictive analytics easy one next one and the last one is about the prescriptive analytics ma prescriptive analytics is nothing about what is the best possible outcome we can get from that okay what should be done to get the to solve a solution to this problem for example sales suddenly dropped in the organization what should be done properly that is called prescriptive analytics okay so that is i mean the four categories of uh, this uh, business analytics works in progressive manner to understand your past and future actions with the help of these methods an organization can improve their performance it can be an accurate it can be taken as strategic decisions also so this is the first important answer second important answer is about the business analytics in practice so in this question also introduction to business analytics whatever we have discussed compulsory you need to write it ma so first application of business analytics marketing analytics a organization should understand the market 
what consumer behavior is what consumer taste is what is the consumer preferences what is the buying patterns they are using what is the customer target what is the pricing strategies we need to use firstly you need to understand the market structure like to give the advertisement to promote your product or service yes that is the first important and the most important for the organization second one financial analytics like what is your budget what will be your future expenses what is the cost control cost control is nothing about expenses controlling okay what is the risk management what is a fraud deduction this type of things you need to understand it in the organization yes or no so banks uses credit card to prevent fraud okay bank uses analytics to access for example if you want to take the credit card what they will do they will see your sibil score yes or no directly they will not give the credit amount no so that is the thing that is called financial analytics you are analyzing your financial things next one ma operation and supply chain analytics it will be improving to forecast that means to predict your future to manage your stock to production planning to logistic optimization like whatever the managing stock levels when you manage your resources automatically wastage will reduce so that is called operations and supply chain analytics next one ma human resource analytics hrm that is called hr decisions will improve the productivity of the organization yes what is the employee performance what is the employee retention how well the employees were coming everything what who will do hr will do so hr is the main important thing recruitment or admission or anything okay next one crm that is customer relationship management yes what is the customers needs what is the customers loyalty how we can how well we can serve to the customer what is the best way to keep long relationship between them yes or no that is called crm so business analytics will be helpful for the organization to emphasize their productivity to increase their profitability to understand the data etc so this is the second most important question then third question is about the big data what is mean by big data okay so big data is nothing about extremely large volume of data like multiple sources with the help of multiple sources we are getting that uh, data like uh, social media sensors transactions digital platforms we are getting all such kind of data large volume of data that is called big data traditional data processing tools are insufficient to handle such data if you are handling in a manual way in a traditional method means it will impossible to handle that big data analytics will be helpful to understand your business database it will be helpful for the better decision making so what are the characteristics there are five v's my first one is volume velocity variety veracity and value volume is the how how much is the amount of data we are having velocity means high speed of data structured and semi structured will come in the, uh, uh, will come in the variety and veracity is nothing about how well the correct data they are giving and value is nothing about business usefulness of the data so these are the five v's of the big data then applications related to this is customer insights like customer personalization uh, things will be there individual feedback individual outcomes like that next predictive decision making will be there uh, like we can able to predict the future decisions risk management and fraud management will be also able to achieve with the help of this uh, big data next operational uh, operational efficiency how well the supply chain management is working how well the cost reduction is getting reduced like this type of data so overall big data helpful to understand the organization it will be able to understand your future things like that okay and the last question from unit number 4 is unit number 1 is sorry fourth question is types of data and their role in decision business decision model so data is the backbone of the business analysis okay without data we can't do any analysis information whatever we have got from the various sources will be helpful for the organization to increase their stability to increase their profitability to enhance their organization efficiency to improve their performance etc then what are the different types of data we are having first one is structured data structured data is nothing about the uh, it can store process like for example sales record or production report ma customer database what is the customer name customer place customer phone number what are the above product they are using that is called structured data then what is mean by unstructured data unstructured data are the fixed data 
okay like images text audio video this type of data is called unstructured data next one qualitative data how much quality of data you are having even if you are having thousand pages also in that the quality of data is hundred only okay next one quantity of data what is the volume what is the revenue cost what is the profit figures we are having okay that is called quantitative data next one primary and secondary data what data is giving in the primary what type of data is giving in the secondary like reports and database yes specific analysis will come in the primary next the role of data in business modeling is it plays an important key role to improve the accuracy to improve the efficiency to improve the profitability and it will be helpful to reduce your expenses in the organization like high quality of data if you are getting means it will be helpful for the business or the organization to take the proper decision making so different types of play data whatever we are having like structured uh, qualitative quantitative this type of things will be able to get a vital role in the organization in the business modeling in decision modeling so whatever the data will be there it will be helpful to predict your organization it will be helpful to improve your performance okay so these questions you learn from unit number one if you're having any further doubts let me know in the comment section all the very best for your examination as well as your preparation see you all in next video students bye bye everyone